Mr. Martin, are there any official statements regarding the incidents in Puerto Rico? As a matter of fact, uh, per, due to the situation happening in the southwest of Puerto Rico, it's all around the island, but in the southwest it's more obvious, and more, more visible, because of the many incidents that are happening there constantly. And it's a heavily populated area. Uh, the police and the civil defense and the authorities uh, began a very intensive disinformation program trying to ridicule and to make everything seen as a lie, as fabrication by those people who were informing all of this. Uh, but fortunately, after they began doing this, especially the civil defense agency in Puerto Rico, a source of ours uh, gave us this letter that was sent secretly by the state director of the civil defense agency of Puerto Rico, Colonel Jose M. Enoya, in which he states clearly that the situation is real, that they are keeping an eye on the situation and investigating everything, uh, just to, to be sure that th what is happening and these sightings and this incident with UFOs and USOs, unknown submerged, submerged objects also, because they come out from, this, from the sea and, uh, and into the sea. Many people have seen this happen there. Uh, it's not a threat to the, to the security of the people of Puerto Rico on the Puerto Rican territory. As you know, something that doesn't exist can be a threat to anyone. There's also another thing. He says here that uh, several agencies of, the, of Puerto Rico are involved in the investigation secretly, the military, the Radio Observatory of Arecibo, and they have always denied for many years that they had anything to you to do uh, whatever with the UFO situation, and it's stated here by him that they do have something to do and they are checking on the situation. And Mr. Noya, these words written by him are very important because he's the liaison between the Puerto Rico uh, National Guard Army and the Defense Intelligence Agency. He's their man in Puerto Rico. Yes, and the Defense Intelligence Agency is like the CIA in the military. So he knows what he's talking about. Other witnesses contacted Amore himself. Uh, so far, uh, between 1988 and 1992, I've been able to localize seven of these people. Uh, because I've gone on different uh, uh, TV shows and... Uh, different articles and I've, uh, I've always uh, been asking if anybody remembers anything similar uh, happening to them and that year during that time Mother's Day to please get in touch with me and I have gotten in touch with hundreds of people but out of the hundreds uh, seven definitely were there uh, with me I still have a uh, seven to go maybe I'll never uh, find them maybe maybe they'll see this you investigated the Rivera case, Colonel Stevens. What was your impression? Well, of course, Jorge Martin took me to meet Jorge Rivera, or uh, Amari Rivera, uh, shortly after I got there with the Mexican team to study some phenomena in Puerto Rico. And when I first met Amari, he was very uh, reluctant to describe his case because it still frightened him to think about it. And it took some time before we could uh, develop enough confidence where he was comfortable talking to us about the case. But he would still tremble when he thought about it. He would, would turn pale. He'd become weak. He, uh, uh, he was frightened. But he has now reviewed the details and the points in sufficient length and depth that he can, can face the experience without the trauma, which he has, has learned to do. And today, or yesterday, we saw for the first time that he is able to, to manage his emotions well enough to describe that contact in considerable detail. You carefully analyzed the Rivera photographs. We took the pictures, yes. We took the pictures taken by Amari Rivera to a NASA, consult a NASA consultant facility in Scottsdale, where we put them through a computer analysis using latest state-of-the-art equipment. And we found that both the disc-shaped craft seen in the photographs and the aircraft are some considerable distance from the camera, between three and five miles. We discovered that the 
jet fighter was moving and that the disc-shaped craft was moving relatively slow or not moving at all. We discovered that uh, the ambient light conditions were correct in all respects. We were able to eliminate montages, paste-ups, reflections, models, all kinds of forms of technical uh, manipulation of photographs and we had to conclude that the pictures were real and that they were exactly as described by the witness when he took the photographs. Actually, Amori Rivera was intimidated and pressured by government agents to hand over his pictures. Well, a, a short time after, after it, uh, the incident, uh, uh, three men uh, showed up at my home in Puerto Rico and one of them stood in their car downstairs and uh, they claimed to be uh, from uh, CIA and they gave me, they handed me two pieces of paper which I was so nervous I couldn't really read but I remember seeing the, the letter CIA which is uh, the intelligence agency from the United States and uh, they said that it would be easier and better for me if I handed them the photographs and the negatives but they did not say you know what photographs or what negatives uh, they didn't specify it. and I just told them that I did not know what they were talking about. And they said it, it would be easier because we have at the, uh, an order for to register your house, to look through your house. And I said, well, go ahead, be my guest and look. And they, they looked, but they couldn't find them because I had, I had hid them very well.